The fourth generation of the Japanese crossover appeared in the fall of 2012. We only have Japanese assembly and all-wheel drive. Engines, gasoline boxer, fours, with a volume of 2 liters, 150 forces, and 2.5 liters, 171 horsepower, as well as a 2-liter turbo with 241 horsepower, which disappeared from the arsenal of the Russian Forester after modernization 2015. Gearboxes, 6-speed manual and CVT. When choosing a used Forester, it is important to make sure that it has not been in a serious accident. The fact is that body parts, as well as other spare parts, are ruinously expensive. For example, replacing a windshield at a dealer, 80,000 rubles. Approximately the same amount will be asked for a new front bumper with installation. It's good that we offer a wide selection of high-quality non-original parts, which are three to four times cheaper. And yes, there are plenty to choose from. If you are not satisfied with the standard soundproofing, you can order an additional chunka. The full one will cost 30,000 rubles. But with the poorly closing fifth door, it does not slam shut the first time. You have to put up with it. This is a design feature of the Forester since the first generations of the car. There are not so many electrical problems with the Forester. Multimedia freezes intermittently. Often the dip beam, brake lights, and license plate lights are off. But they cost pennies. Engine. But the motors are reliable. Despite the original design, the engines are opposed, the pistons and horizontal cylinders move towards each other, like the fists of two boxers. The 2-liter base for FB20 is considered the most reliable. Its resource is 250,000 kilometers. Moreover, during a major overhaul, they usually do without replacing the cylinder block and head. Only piston rings and bearings are out of tolerance. And after the capital, the motor can run the same amount. In the timing drive, the engine has a strong chain that nurses 200,000 kilometers or more. The main thing is to monitor the oil level and change it at least after 15,000 kilometers, however, it is possible more often. Subarovsky opponents prefer high-quality synthetic oil with a viscosity of 0W20. Carter they have a modest volume. Therefore, lowering the level can cause not only overheating and oil starvation, but also directly affects the lifespan of the timing chain. The 2.5 liter four, is almost an exact copy of the Kopec piece with the only difference being that the cylinders are bored out to obtain a larger volume. As the diameter of the cylinders increased, the bridge between them became thinner, and this is already fraught with an increased tendency for the FB25 to overheat. Therefore, in addition to monitoring engine lubrication on both boxers, it is necessary to clean the engine and air conditioner radiators every year, which are very close to each other. The procedure is not cheap, about 10,000 rubles. With removal of parts, on both engines, also occasionally, at 60,000 kilometers, oil may leak from under the timing chain cover. The lid is put on the sealant. The service life of the drive belt directly depends on the operating conditions and lives on average 50,000 to 80,000 kilometers. If you miss a replacement, a tattered or broken leash can do a lot of trouble under the hood. After 100,000 kilometers, the check engine light often lights up on the dashboard. If this happens when driving for a long time at high speeds, error 0420 pops up, which means the use of unimportant fuel. Change gas stations or start filling up with higher octane gas and the problem usually goes away. But if you neglect high quality fuel, the catalyst will sooner or later order a long life. And then either buy a new one for 77,000 rubles, or cut out the old one and make a snag for the second control sensor. By the way, on a turbo engine, the second sensor is bypassed by flashing the electronic control unit. In general, the resource of turbo boxers is noticeably less than that of naturally aspirated ones, somewhere up to 200,000 kilometers. They are even more prone to overheating and, as a result, oil starvation. To avoid high expenses for the replacement of the pump and turbine, install a turbo timer, as well as oil temperature and pressure sensors. It is recommended to reduce the engine lubricant change interval to 7,500 kilometers. All engines are not cheap to maintain. Dealers charge almost 2,000 for just replacing spark plugs, not counting the cost of parts. Nothing can be done. The original design of the boxers involves the removal of the air filter and battery. It happens that the upper radiator tanks burst. There is only one way out, replacement with a new one, and better non-original from 15,000 rubles transmission. The all-wheel drive system is also distinguished by a non-trivial design, 
where torque is constantly transmitted to all four wheels. About 51% comes to the rear axle, which gives the Forester rear-wheel drive habits. But there is no downshift on this generation. But over the long years of production of such a transmission, all of its congenital sores were cured. And even on fairly used copies, no surprises happen. However, do not forget about the regular oil change in gearboxes and transfer case. This is the key to the longevity of the transmission. The Japanese recommend updating fluids every 60,000 kilometers. The variator differs from other similar mechanisms by the presence of a torque converter, and the pushing belt here is chain, plus there are also six fixed virtual gears. I must say, Lineatronic is very reliable. And to avoid problems, make it a rule to change the oil in it every 45,000 kilometers. Moreover, it is better to use branded lubricant, Subaru CBT Oil Lineatronic 2. True. The transmission is very expensive, and a comprehensive replacement with consumables will cost almost 25,000 rubles. The mechanical box cannot be serviced at all, the oil in it is filled for the entire service life. Although in Russia, dealers recommend updating it every 90,000 kilometers. It won't get worse, but it doesn't cost that much. Suspension In independent suspension, breakdowns do not happen often. The penny stabilizer struts are the first to surrender. The weak point is the wheel bearings, which are assembled with the hub, and serve an average of 70,000 to 100,000 kilometers. By the way, the original part costs only about 10,000 rubles. By this time, the silent blocks of the front levers usually wear out. Repair, from 80 hundred rubles. The rubber bands on the rear levers last a little longer. And this is by and large all. Even shock absorbers, 8,000 to 12,000 rubles will only ask for updates to 150,000 kilometers, not earlier. Steering. Against such an iridescent background, the steering rack stands out for its fragility. The mechanism starts to knock, but you can ride like this for a very, very long time. Dealers offer a replacement under warranty, and if the car is more than three years old, they install a new rail for 78,000 rubles. However, our Kulibans found a solution. Rail repair costs only 12,000 to 14,000 rubles, and it is enough for another 100,000 kilometers. Thus, buying a used Forester seems to be quite profitable. Indeed, with age, the crossover decently loses in price, while practically not losing reliability. The main thing is to find a well-groomed copy, because not everyone drives these cars measuredly and accurately. Special Control, Turbo Versions with the Variator.